Hi guys, Cindy out here with Marcy Endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, we are here for my creative year and for my review. Um, I went to a website called thriftybooks.com and because I was itching to get, you know, you got to get your hands on a new art book. And I saw this canvas remix and I I was like, oh, that looks so cool. So this is Canvas Remix by Alyssa Burke. And it's techniques for creating mixed medium accessor accessories. And this book um, is, I, I've looked through it a couple times now and I'm just intrigued. There's a lot of different projects in here I'd like to do. Um, I'm not going to read all of this because this is kind of like her opening her introduction. Um, but she talks about how the first time she grabbed paint and put it on a canvas and got butterflies in her stomach before a class critique in her freshman year in college. Um, she was really drawn to it. She was drawn to making a mess with the paint with the, uh, with the canvas. Um, and she says, after college, my journey as a painter brought me to a place where a canvas with four sides was just not enough. I wanted to break free from working within the square. And she just has slowly um, evolved. And she says, my evolution as an artist and a painter has been a fulfilling process. And it's hard to believe that 14 years have passed since that first painting class. So she says her intention for this book is to introduce you to my world and bring inspiration to your own artwork and mixed media creations. Canvas Remix is all about pushing the envelope with traditional materials and redefining the concept of what, a pa what painting can and should be. From graffiti to whimsical images to art history to punk rock culture to vintage elements. elements. I've sprinkled the pages of, the, of this book with the many things that have influenced me and defined me who I am as a painter. So she's talking about tricks and tips and techniques. And let me tell you, this book just really sparked my creativity. I was just like, <gasps> so she talks about her supplies and tools. And then she gives you all of these different um, projects to work on, right? Well, I found one. Let me see if I can find it again. Is this it? No. I found one that I was like, oh. Um, this one's really cool. Patchwork placemats. I'm going to do this. I definitely want to do this one. That's really cool. Uh, this right here. It's called Fragments Picture Frame. And I thought, how cool is that? And I just, I got this idea of what I want to do. So basically what she says to do, um, the materials are several scraps of painted canvas belonging to the same color family. Now, right off the top of my head, this is the one I found. This is one of my scraps of painted fabric. And she says, um, one color of acrylic paint, spray paint, a paintbrush, a photo frame, craft glue, and scissors. Now, I decided I'm going to do these little mini canvases. So it's just a mini canvas. I picked them up probably at Michael's or AC Moore, Joann's, one of those places. I know they're not real expensive. So um, I want to do three of these little mini canvases. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this scrap of... Um, canvas that I have here, painted canvas. And basically what she says to do is paint the frame, uh, the back, the image area, and the sides of the frame with a color that complements your canvas scraps. Create scraps of canvas by cutting them up, one to three inches. Um, glue your scraps to the frame, overlapping pieces if you go. It is okay if the pieces go over the edge, you can trim those off later. Trim your edge, apply spray paint. Spray paint the area around the image opening and around the outside of the frame. It's nice if it drips in places. Okay, so this is her um, her instructions. And here's the picture of what she did, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I am going to play with um, some paint and some canvases. I'm basically going to have fun with them. So let me get out some uh, paints and some scissors and that kind of stuff and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I've decided I'm going to use this pink. Um, it's Deco Art Dragon Fruit. And I just thought this pink was a cool color. And this has a little bit of pink in it. Not a whole lot, but hey, you know, we're just playing right now. So, so yeah, um, 
you know, every time you pick up an art book, you don't have to get them at full price at one of your regular retail stores. Uh, I try to find a used bookstore or I try to find somewhere where, you know, I can get, it doesn't matter if it's not a brand new book. I'm not into the new and upcoming. I just like inspiration. And when I can find a book for a couple bucks, I don't think I paid, I paid maybe, I don't know, four or five dollars for this book and it was free shipping free shipping so I'm not complaining and when I saw this book I actually got two uh, different books I have another one here but this one just went oh these look so cool so yeah that's where I'm getting my the inspiration from so I just added pink around that one we're gonna do it to this one and then I'm gonna start cutting up my fabric or I'm sorry, my canvas, and we're gonna glue them down. We're gonna get these dry first. I need more paint than that, Cindy. But yeah, let's have fun. Let's see how these turn out. Now, I'm prepping basically these canvases. I got thinking, um, there's another project I wanna do with them. So I'm gonna do these three and do the canvas from this review. And then you will probably see these canvases coming up in another project. So, yeah, let's have fun with it, right? Make sure we got all four sides, did we? We did. Yay. All right, there's two. Oops, I'll move over. And let's do our third one. Yeah, so this is fun. I love to find, um, new and different ways to use supplies too and I just love the fact that we're going to be cutting up this little piece of canvas and it doesn't have to stay looking the same as it is you can make it something totally different than what it is which I think is really cool all right so those three are done I'm just sitting those aside let them dry uh, let me grab my book and get the rest of this pink off this paintbrush so I'll just grab one of my wipe off books here. This is just one I've been working in. Um, I'll throw this pink paint somewhere. That's a good place for it. Maybe I'll just paint a block. You know, I, I am a thorough believer on using up what you've got. So, you know, I, why waste this paint when it can add just a little bit of color to something else, right? So there we go. So I'll set that aside. All right, so while those are drying, and actually I just saw a little bit of paint run over on that. While those are drying, I'm gonna take some scissors and we're gonna cut this canvas up. I'm gonna actually do them in smaller pieces because I have such small canvas here. Let me bring you in. I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing here because my background, I gotta get that cleaned up. But I'm just going to gonna cut some smaller pieces you know I don't think they have to have decoration on them, do they it doesn't really matter does it Nah. let's just do that and let's get some of this purple and yellow you know do they have to be perfect I don't think so I just need to make sure that I have enough to do four of them or three of them the three canvases that I have And let's take some of this black, some of this pink, make some little ones. Now I'm gonna have all these little pieces, right? <laughs> That's okay. All right. Is that gonna be enough? Probably not. Let's do some more. Why not? So let's take these and like I said, I'm cutting them a little bit smaller because, um, you know, I've got smaller canvas, of course. So, all right. So those are ready. Let me cut this one up too. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop for a second. I'm going to dry up my canvases and then we're going to start working on gluing these around the edges. All right. So I will be back shortly. 
All right, guys, so I put my first coat of paint on them. Now, I'm going to use this gloss heavy gel. I don't care that it's gloss. It doesn't matter. It's not much left. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start gluing down all these little pieces of canvas on my little canvases. And let's see what we end up with. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this process. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll chat in a bit.
right guys so I did the little canvas around the edges I really like these these are really cool and it gives me so many different ideas you can do this with jelly prints you can do it with old newspapers you can do it with anything washi tape um, you name it but um, like I said I got the idea out of this book and I'm not gonna do any more to these right now because I actually have a project in mind for these so I'm gonna leave them as is which is fine because I'm gonna do some more work on them but I really need them to dry really well so I can use them again but check out this book it's called canvas remix uh, by Alicia Burke Alyssa a L I S A last name B U R K E and there are just so many different fabulous ideas in here of things to do so I hope to be working more out of this book soon I hope you guys have enjoyed as always like comment share and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.